Hi guys, welcome back to another Make Money Online video and this is Hilda, if you're new here. Uh, this is a channel where we talk about ways to make money online and uh, how to build a side income. That is, how do you supplement maybe your main income with a side income? Like, how do you make extra money during your spare time? That's what we talk about. And I'm hoping that um, will get to be of benefit to you. So today we're talking about something interesting. And this is it. So today we are talking about how to make money with spoken word poetry. How to make money with spoken word poetry in Kenya. So remember, I always say that. I give these tutorials using the case study of Kenya because I'm in Kenya. But since these opportunities are online, you can do them from any part of the world. You don't have to be in Kenya. You don't have to be in Africa. You can do them from any part of the world since they are online opportunities. But the reason I put in Kenya is for the YouTube algorithm so that I may rank to those to audience in Kenya and number two is because I'm a Kenyan I live in Kenya definitely I want to help my people but if you're from any part of the world you can do this so uh, we get started and number one way is vlogging that is uh, YouTube videos so we are saying start a spoken word youtube channel then monetize it through ads sponsored content affiliate marketing and then the tip i'm giving you is that market that youtube channel on social media platforms like twitter and uh for it to grow so let me show you an example here we're going to youtube and i'm going to show you examples so this is i just searched spoken word poetry in kenya and all these people Appeared. but we're going to filter based on channel here we're going to filter based on channel and you see there is her mumbi masharia let's look there is this let's look, look at this so mumbi masharia you see mumbi masharia i started this channel on just poems look that girl hours from me to me the first time you see she's just a poet expressing her ideas through her channel there is also this there is this amoko you see he's also just doing poetry on his channel so uh how a youtube channel makes money is through these ways which i've mentioned here you make money through ads you make money through sponsored content and you make money through affiliate marketing so you guys know that youtube is a journey i just started the other day i created my youtube channel recently like let's look the first video here that should be like six months no five months ago six months ago so that's when i started youtube and currently i have i just joined i just started or joined the monetization program that is adsense like last month so i still don't have a success story or i still don't like i've not earned my first salary but guys be sure because this channel is about sharing small wins. this channel is about opening up your eyes be sure that once i get paid the first amount i'm going to come back here and show you so the guy the thing is i'm just telling you that this is one where you can make money with poetry. Just start a YouTube channel where you share uh, your poems and then uh, you can make money in those ways. So in case you just don't know how to start a YouTube channel, just go to YouTube and search how to start a YouTube channel. How to start a YouTube channel. And it's a very easy platform. Watch these people what they recommend how to do it there is also this kenyan but i think we all know 
Muthoni. Muthoni Mission. These are Kenyan. There is also Mumo. So these are Kenyans teaching you how to start a YouTube channel. Look at this and Kiki. So just go on YouTube, search, watch these videos, and they will give you a step by step guide on how to start a YouTube channel. Personally, I've not done one, but once I start making money on YouTube and begin sharing what has been working for me, I'll make that video. But for now, guys, these are YouTubers. They have the experience, they have the tips. Go learn from them. So that's the first method you make money with uh, poetry. That is vlogging. Start a YouTube channel. Number two, you become a freelancer. Freelancing is whereby either you sell your poems, sell your poems on freelance marketplaces like Fiverr, Etsy, Upwork, Freelancer, People Per Hour, among others, or just sell to individual clients. They are clients or companies who just wish to buy your poems, just sell to them. Alternatively, you can get paid to write poems. So you just get paid to write poems for people. So let me show you an example with Fiverr. Let me show you an example with Fiverr. So this is Fiverr, and I've gone to Fiverr and searched spoken word poetry. So I've gone to Fiverr and searched spoken word poetry. And what Fiverr has done, it has uh, shown me these people offering such services. But since we are talking about Kenya, we are going to go here to going to go here to seller details, seller details, and then we are going to filter based on location where the seller lives, and then we are going to filter those in Kenya. So and then we apply, apply. So these are poets in Kenya who are selling their poems. Look at this. This. Let's open the profile of this one. Look, they are charging $50 per poem. So they say that I will write poetry and spoken word for you. So here, this is Eric, 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 Eric. They say that they are charging starting from $50 a poem. You see? So what you can do is that just go create a profile like this and then uh, borrow, like open different profiles, see what they have included in their profile, then emulate, not copy. You just can't copy word for word. It is emulate or borrow. Borrow what they have put in their profile so that you attract customers. Okay? So these are just Kenyans. There is this charging from $10 per poem. There is, um, all these are just Kenyans doing poetry, like spoken word poetry. So you can go to freelance marketplaces like Fiverr. This could work with Upwork, with Freelancer, and also it could work with clients. Okay, just if you want to, to, to magnify this more, just go to Google maybe and say, write poems and search paid to write poems you see and you will find all these opportunities where you can get paid to write poems or are paid to write spoken word and word poetry spoken word poetry right okay not poetry so you just go to google and search paid to write spoken word poetry and for instance you'll see all these let's see these website they give you opportunities where you can you see 14 poet job market for freelancers you can get paid at a 50 hakus or a three line poetry you can get paid at the american journal the advertising review these these all these are platforms where you can get paid to write poetry these they are more in, in these the sun, rattle, you see, more and more. So the other option is become a freelancer. And as a freelancer, the advantage is you can find work so many places. And the most place I would like to recommend you to start is on Fiverr. 
just go practice there go build a portfolio there then once you have a portfolio or once you have worked with different clients learn how to price your services then you can proceed to doing independent contracts with real companies or real business owners who are willing to pay you for your skills so we're going to close down this so that's the second option freelancing the other option is voicing so some people know how to write poems but they don't have the voice to speak them out so this is spoken word poetry that is the, the human voice is being used to deliver it so we just can't ignore the fact that some people are gifted with beautiful powerful voice that is why regardless of how much some of us love music we can't become musicians because we are not that endowed with those voices so we just have to accept that some people have great voices so you can get paid to read out the poem or speak out the poem for people who are good poets but don't have the voice to do the spoken word poetry so i came across these websites let's look at each one of them i came across these websites whereby you can get hired as a voice over artist this productionhub.com so you see voice over artist in kenya and you can see this remod mado jameson recordings all these are people who are who are like saying that they are voice over artists and they're willing to get hired so you can go to this platform and apply for new job they post or you can create your profile such that when a client comes they would see your profile like we see for these people look at this the profile of this person has been viewed seven and by 736 people so there is a high guarantee that at least 10 people have hired him this one by 900 people so there is a guarantee that at least out of those 900 10 to 20 people have already used their services so just go create your profile on this platform or apply to the latest works which are posted but i would encourage you to do both you apply for the new work and then you also create a, a, a profile so the, the website is this production hub productionhub.com so i also came across this i also came across this from voquet this voquet i hope i'm pronouncing that right v o q u e n t voquet so this is a website whereby voice over services in nairobi so this is a studio more like a studio which offers voice over services so you just can go to this company and apply for a job request them for you to be their employee and i'm sure they will take you in as long as you have that powerful powerful voice and you know how to maneuver through it so that is voquet v o q u e n t then there is this jenson Jenson. 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 So this my internet today is just misbehaving. So Jenson, Jenson and then voice over artist recording and production in Nairobi, Kenya. So you can also go over here and apply for a job speak to the owner of this website you see let me let me surprise you on something in my blog one of the th one of the ways i make money is through sponsored content so how that works is when i'm just doing my normal blogging research and i come across a client i would like to work with either as a partner as an affiliate mean partner or just as a sponsored partner what i just do is that i go get their contact 
one one Chrome extension that helps me know uh, emails in any website is Hunter. A Chrome extension. This Hunter. This is a Chrome extension. Hunter Chrome. Hunter Chrome. Hunter Chrome extension. What this extension does is it defines email on any website. So when it is installed in Chrome, you just click on it and any website you visit, it will give you the email. So what I do is that I do what is called cold emailing. Once I find the email of that person, I just go send them an email like, hello, I landed to your blog, find found this interesting content and I would love to partner with you in this way. So just the ways you'd like to partner with them like this is the email of this company and also their call. Give them a call or send them an email and tell them that I'm a voiceover artist and I would like to work with you on ABCD. You see, so don't be afraid to sell your skills. Don't be afraid to reach out to brands. Just sell your skills because that's the way you're going to build a network. That's the way you're going to get known. Okay, I hope I've thrown that encouragement out there. And you're going to apply it so that's voicing and because i might not remember to, to link to all these guides what you're going to do is that you're going to google and type voice over a spoken word spoken word poem voice over jobs You can add in Kenya, you can add in Kenya. So it will give you all the places you can get voice over jobs in Kenya. Like uh, you can get them at Poetrinia, you can get them at LinkedIn. I mean, just go through all these links and then you will get jobs. But I hope that you have mastered the three. The three we have talked about is production hub, we've talked about vocal. And we've talked about Jensen. So, guys, that's the other option. I'm even lost. I don't know if this is option number three or option number. Yeah. We started with vlogging, freelancing, voicing. So, that's number three. So, we can now go to number four. And number four is blogging. So, uh, let's say you don't like to do the video. Because this just works the same as vlogging. This is the same as a YouTube channel, only that in a YouTube channel, the content you deliver it through video. But a blog, the content you can deliver it through text, audio, and video, or combined in one uh, package. So you could start a blog. So if you have just been on this channel for a while, definitely by now you know I'm a blogger. And uh, before I tell you, some more about my blogging journey let's see examples of poets who are making money with a blog so there is this one i came across this one kenyan poet kenyan kenyan poet kenyan kenyan poet so guys my internet i'll keep reminding you that it's really slow but <clears throat> This is an example of a poet who started a blog on poems. Look, Kenyan poet. So all these are blog or all these are poems they have written. See, there is beauty, colors of Prince Purple. They have just created this blog and then they are writing poems. Okay, that's one example. The other example I came across was this, Omadai. So this is another example of a poet who, who is monetizing their skill through the blogging way. Wamadai. Wow. You just can't say that it, it decided to disappoint me. Wamadai.com. Wow, wow, wow. Wamadai Poetry. This is interesting. I can tell you I visited this 
blog and it was about poems but maybe the site is down right now but it was about poem maybe we can search on google something like kenyan blogs on poetry on poetry we could search that there is this one which you have already looked at the kenyan poet there is um there is um Kenya colleges I mean just there are so many examples of bloggers who have started blogs on poems and the way you make money with a blog is through ads affiliate marketing and digital product so guys in my youtube channel Hilda Mwende I have I have made so much content I've made so much content on blogging like this just go to the channel and search blog and you will get this how to start a blog this step by step guide where i show you how to start a blog you will also get this video where i show how i make money with a blog that is the ways if i talk of advertising which companies i advertise with if i talk of affiliate marketing which company i do affiliate marketing with if i talk of CPA marketing which company I do CPA marketing with so just go watch these two videos go to the channel Hilda Munde if you are just new just go to google and search Hilda then Munde Hilda Munde this you go to that once you're on the channel you come to search and then search blog once you're on the blog you'll get this guide here this how to start a blog and also this too this is on how to start a blog this is on how my case study of how i monetize my own blogs and guys definitely i always tell you this let me show you this because i say it in words but let me show you in action so this video you are watching right now i'm assuming that this is the video you are watching so while you're in this video, I want you to go to this description, show more, show more. And then you're going to scroll down here to get in touch. And what you're going to do is you're going to write me an email. That is, if you want training, if you want training on, that, that is a one-on-one -on -one training on how to start a blog, on keyword research, on Pinterest. I mean, anything to do with affiliate marketing, blogging. You're going to write me an email use my email and then you're going to i'm going to get in touch with you and see how i can help you because i didn't start this channel to brag or just be passive i started it to just make sure that i'm helping someone make some extra coins online okay so i hope that um that's emphasized so that's the method number four blogging the other method you can do is tutoring that is get paid to teach beginners how to write poems and how to really deliver their content uh, through poetry there are two websites there are two websites here uh, this teacher on this website teacher on teacher on you see poetry tutors in kenya you can find all these poetry tutors in Kenya and you can also go well, create your profile here and apply for jobs. There is also this Upwork. Upwork. In Upwork, there are so many poetry tutors, okay, where you get paid to teach people. Look, higher poets in Kenya. Look, this. Dennis, Meshak. And you see these people have come completed one or five jobs this one has completed eight jobs look so these are poets you can find from kenya and there are so many you see so upwork is the other place you can tutor people how to write poems and how to deliver their spoken word poetry so that is it guys on tutoring so maybe i could mention that i did this video there's a video I did recently. Let me show you. Uh, 
I had titled it that these Kenyans are making millions online. Wow, I can't see it. This. So these Kenyans are making money millions online. So in this video, I show a case study of Kenyans making money online through tutoring. Can you imagine there is a Kenyan making $50 an hour? Let me show you with calculation here instead of talking. So that Kenyan is making $50 an hour and then they are working. Let's say they are working five hours a day because I'm assuming this is part-time income. So they are working five hours a day. So in a day, they are making $250. In a month, if they work, let's say, let's say we give them 20 days. In a month, they are already making $10,000. In Kenyan shillings times 108 value of a dollar, that is half a million. Can you imagine? So, this I gave case study of Kenyans making millions tutoring on italki and others making money on Airbnb. So, go watch this video uh, for more emphasis on this tutoring kind of a job. You don't have to be a poet to make money as a tutor. You can tutor your mother tongue. In fact, these Kenyans are tutoring their mother tongue. The example I was giving is a Kenyan tutoring Luo. So they are teaching Luo to people. So there are so many tutoring opportunities online. And in future, I plan to do a video on tutoring jobs. So that's the other option. Tutoring uh, poets. Then the other way you can make money with poetry is branding. What do we mean by branding? So branding is whereby you just take like catchy phrases from your poem, then write those phrases on items like, you see this, this is a cup. You will always have a special place in my heart. So you just pick catchy lines or phrases from your poem, then write them on cups, on calendars, on on t-shirts you see so you just brand like your your brand then when people buy they buy they know they are buying maybe let's say you are called you're called the silent poet so you will brand those items and then leave your brand name the silent poet so when people buy those items they are buying from poetry remember poetry is an is an art so it is just about being creative enough to make people fall in love with your art. So you could sell branded items which are referring back to your spoken word poet brand. Okay, I hope I've explained that well enough, but I hope that you get the whole idea. So the other way you make money with poetry is self-publishing. What do we mean by self-publishing? You just create an ebook so you compile your best points your best poems into a book then you sell that book and one place you can sell that book is on a platform like amazon kindle let's look at this so you can sell your poem on amazon kindle i don't know why it's telling me that but we're just going to do a search here amazon kindle this is one of the places you can sell your your book. So let's say like you have a po you have poems on um, a topic like early pregnancy, early pregnancy among teens. So you're going to combine those poems into a book. Let's say you have like ten poems on that topic. You combine them into a book, and then you look for a catchy title like. Uh, what could be a catchy title for early pregnancy? Okay, I'm not really a poet, so I would not know, but I would say like, I would say like, keep off the bomb. You see, like keep off the bomb, you see? And then you, 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 you compile those into a book, and then you sell that book on Amazon Kindle. Definitely, this process is detailed than I'm explaining it, but the good thing is that you just go to Google and search how to sell books on Amazon Kindle and you will find tips on how to do that. 
For me personally, I have two books. I've already written two books. This one on own page SEO, the other on Pinterest marketing. So for me, I sell my books through this platform known as Send All. I don't use Amazon Kindle, but I plan to use it in future. What I use is Send All. That is Send and then All. Send All. That's how I sell my my ebooks. I sell my ebooks through Send All. Maybe I should sign in and just show you because I, I'm not, I'm a person who let me sign in from Chrome because I can't remember the person. I'm a person who don't like just talking empty words. I like talking with some proof. So I tell you that. Let me first show you these two books. So these are the two books. This one on SEO. You see, buy now. It's a book I'm selling. Buy now. Uh, if someone clicks on buy now, you see. Mm, okay, I think there is a problem. But we're going to log in into my account so that I show you. Okay, product. So you see, these are the product. They exist for page views and they exist other one on, on page SEO. So guys, that's it. I use Sendall. And if you decide to say, register with Sendall, make sure you use my affiliate link in the description. So the other guide I would like to refer you to is this. If you are wondering how did I create those ebooks, I want you to look at this video here. Uh, I created those those ebooks using one of my favorite tool, and that is Canva. So I want you to ref I want to refer you to this guide. This, Ish. what's happening? This guide: how to create ebooks with Canva. This guide here. This 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 guide here. Blah. So go look at this guide here, how to create ebooks in Canva. So you will see how I created my two ebooks. And uh, maybe uh, about send all, you just go to YouTube and search how to sell ebooks on send all. Send all. Just that. You search that, watch the videos that come up, and then you will get started. So that's the other option of how to make money with poetry so i think that's just the end we've talked about self-publishing where you combine your poems into a book sell them we've talked about branding it's uh, right catchy phrases on mugs t-shirts and calendars uh we talked about tutoring we talked about blogging we talked about voicing we talked about freelancing we talked about vlogging and that's it guys we really come to the end of this video and at the end of it all, I keep saying that making money online is about creativity. There are so many opportunities. Uh, it's about creativity, being able to think outside the box. And it is also about being a go-getter, starting. When you find an opportunity you love and you feel like it is an opportunity you can do, go get it. Don't just keep pushing, I'll try tomorrow, I'll do tomorrow. And it is also about consistency. Anyone telling you that you can make money overnight is lying to you. They are lying to you. This is about consistency. Uh, for instance, recently I was testing an idea about niche site. And um, I, was, I was just testing out this idea in mind of seeing how long would it take to make money with a new blog. So I started a blog six months ago and in the six months that is when i'm able to make three hundred dollars from that blog per month so you see there's nothing about fast success online you just have to be a person who is willing to to grow on the step by step to take the first step the second step the third step the fourth step until the final step so guys i believe that 
uh, I've made some inspiration to you and we were talking about how to make money with poetry and until next time it's a bye bye for me now and I always remind you that if you have not subscribed kindly subscribe to my channel turn on that notification and again and the most important I request you engage with my videos like them share them and where possible leave a comment and guys buy for me from me right now and see you next time